Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SmackDown Five Nights from the Elimination Chamber. My name is Dave Easton, alongside Marky Marks. So we'll get to him in a minute. Daniel Bryan has a few things to say, and that is that things are heating up on the blue brand. Of course, tonight, in the main event, the new GWF champion, Killer Wheel, will take on Kevin Owens with a winner becoming number six in the Chamber match on Sunday night. And, well, it also happens tonight. The tag team titles are on the line. Glorious Domination has not been in the good books of Daniel Bryan. Tonight, they will take on Sami Zayn and Neville. Wow, what a chance for them to, to get rid of some wealth. A problem on Daniel Bryan's side. Coming up, it is Kofi Kingston, Daniel Cage. They'll be in the Intercontinental Chamber match. They'll go one-on-one -on -one next on SmackDown. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SmackDown. Making his way to the ring first, he is Kofi Kingston. Yeah, well, here comes Kofi. And well, Kofi, I mean, this man is absolutely delusional. He still thinks that the New Day are still together when the New Day is just him. You've got to give him... He said... Well, no, come on. Let's get this right here, Marky. He said, don't talk about the New Day. We are still a group. We're just going for singles matches. Still a group. Nobody else is wearing the bright blue colors other than him. Well, maybe they just want to change. I knew they ain't no group. I, you know, I hear they don't even travel together anymore. Well, that is true as well. But of course, that doesn't mean, of course, that they're, they're not friends. They're not a group. But, uh, well. Kofi Kingston ready for action here tonight. And he will be up against this man, ladies and gentlemen. He is the Cage, Daniel Cage. And now here comes Daniel Cage. This man is not delusional. He knows he is one of the best here. He is the Cage. He doesn't think that he's some a part of a group that's dying. That he doesn't even know uh, dying really around him here. Here comes Daniel Cage, and well, he's gonna just bring it. And you've got to remember, these two men will be a part of the six-man. Elimination Chamber Intercontinental Title Match currently held by Kaplan Lars and you're going to be thinking it's going to be momentum if you get a win here tonight Marky on Smackdown yeah it's definitely going to be a lot of momentum here for the cage if he can pick up a win over Kofi Kingston and really if there's one man that can pick up a win over Kofi Kingston I definitely think Daniel Cage can be one of them here tonight Daniel Cage has been saying backstage all week that he's saying he's doing this for the millions and millions of the Cage fans. He says he's going to walk in the Elimination Chamber and walk out the Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, all those Cage maniacs are going to be finally going to be happy because after this Sunday night, when he becomes Intercontinental Champion, they are just going to be everyone on their feet and just saying, thank the Lord, but it's no longer Kaplan Lars. Well, of course, Kaplan Lars not in the good books of general manager Daniel Bryan. Of course, we know what happened in the last few weeks. Of course, huge momentum shifts here on SmackDown in the last couple of weeks. We've got a new GWF champion. Killer Will is your new champion from last week. He, but he could have a very short reign, Marky. He's got a lot of problems. He's got five big problems Sunday night in that chamber. Yeah, he's got five big problems, and he doesn't even know if he's going to be the final man in the elimination chamber. If he's going to be the final man going into that chamber, being the freshest man in there to help keep his title. Yeah, of course. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, it's him versus Kevin Owens, the winner. Well, you've got to be saying, is that fair, Marky? Is it fair that Danny Bryan's going to give them two the opportunity? Why does he not give everyone else an opportunity? Well, honestly, Daniel Bryan has some sort of favoritism towards Kevin Owens here, and he's trying to really take the title off of the Carol Will. I, I, if I want to be surprised if we see some sort of friendship going between Kevin Owens and Daniel Bryan here. Yeah, and ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't heard of the news from last week, Umegle has been suspended from GWF apparently till season two. Daniel Bryan saying he was not happy with the way the match ended. And even worse, I've spoke to Noki backstage saying that he hasn't even seen Omegle all week. Controversy, of course, if you missed last week's ladder match. I Go back and watch it on the network. It was a hell of a match. And Marky, you've got to be saying, 
Killer Wheel definitely got some help in there. No help though this Sunday night. Yeah, definitely got a help. Got a lot of help inside the ring there. But well, in the elimination chamber, no, no one's going to be looking to helping you. Everyone's going to be in there for their own gain. Especially Kevin Owens here tonight. We're going to try to take the sixth spot away from Killer Whale. Now, look at this now. It is Kofi Kingston looking to get a win over Daniel Cage. And well, I see the, the fans chanting New Day Who. Not really helping uh, Kofi Kingston's mind here, Marky, early on in this contest. But really not taking much out of him as he goes for the cover. Yeah, going for the cover. He's really taking the fans' well, reactions here out of his mind here. Because he's, like he says, he's delusional. He thinks that the New Day are still together. These guys, they aren't a group together. They, I don't think these guys even talk backstage anymore together. They used to hang out backstage, be the best of friends. Now they're doing their own thing. With, and their careers are just going up, up, while the group is going down, down. Yeah, definitely. And look at that lovely leg drop off the top. And Kofi doing a bit of disco dancing for the crowd here tonight. Yeah, wow. showing off some of that New Day spirit there. Well, you've got to say, though, it's not going to be good for Daniel Cage. And, oh, lovely Mitch Nuka driver. And look at that. Look at the wick. Cage's leg landed on the middle rope. Yeah, well, really, I think it was just Cage trying to think he was going to go for a cover there. He was trying to go for a rope break. But Kobe Kingston continuing on him here. Look at this. Two. No. Ooh. Kick out of two. Close. Marky Kingston almost with a victory. Yeah, Kingston almost over victory there, trying to take away the momentum away from Daniel Cage as he's trying to get the momentum DDT! going into the women's chamber. The DDT, and that can be it for Kobe, but not going for the cover, continuing on him here. He is not done. Yeah, look at this nice maneuver from Daniel Cage, turning things around all of a sudden now, and just look at slowing Kofi's pace down. And surely that will work to Daniel Cage if he can slow Kingston down and keep him to the mat. Kingston now not in the best place. And look out, going for the sharpshooter! Oh, has it locked in. And this is one of the most painful submissions here in GWF. And I don't think Kofi's going to get out of this. So wait. No, oh. he did. Look at that power. But you can see what it did to his back here. Cage trying to get a hold. Kingston moves out of the way and hits him perfectly with a drop kick right into the chest. Yeah, and Dana Cage not really succeeding in trying to slow down and keep him on the ground. Look, Kofi will to have his way here with the cage. And you've got to also remember, Mark, as well, we could see Sunday night, we could see Kofi Kingston win the Intercontinental title and Big E winning the... Oh, dear me, oh. sorry, man. Big DDT. And this Tim Price would say, Jesus. What a maneuver. Wow. And, of course, we, as I say, we could see Big E winning... The GWF title, so you're saying about the New Day, but they could hold gold come Sunday night. Yeah, but, you know, I don't think Big E's thinking about anything about the New Day. He's thinking about all for himself. Kobe is the only one thinking about the New Day here. I'm keep telling you, he is just delirious. He thinks that they are still a thing. They what are not. What is Kofi doing? <laughs> he, he thinks he's, a, he's a high oh flying. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Kofi putting everything into this contest. But look yeah, at this, everything. Cage will not give up. Yeah, Cage will not give up. He is trying to really break down the spirits of Kofi Kingston here in his New Day power positivity. Back inside the ring now, Daniel Cage. If this match has gone one way, he may be setting him up here. He is stalking Kofi Kingston. Oh. Look out, Cage, bottom. And that has to be it for Kofi Kingston. If we see this on Sunday night, this is going to be the new Intercontinental Champion right here. Three! Daniel Cage picks up the win! Yeah, a very big win for Daniel Cage, picking up all the momentum that he needs to go into the Elimination Chamber. And well, after the performance like that, that might just be his chamber going into Sunday night. Big win for Daniel Cage. Congratulations to him. Sunday night could be his night. Could very well be indeed. Let's move on. Dean Ambrose has got a ticket to WrestleMania already stamped. Tonight, though, he goes on against the man's man. Harvey beats next on SmackDown. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first from Portsmouth, England. He is a man that works at 20%. A man 
man's man, Harvey Beats. Yeah, here comes a man's man, and this man, he is absolutely looking to get some sort of momentum. And really, if he can get beat the man that is going into WrestleMania with that free ticket he got in that ladder match, I say that could be all the momentum he could need in the world. And maybe we could be seeing him going after the next Intercontinental Champion if he picks a win over a man like Dean Ambrose here tonight, even if he works at only 20%. It's really true. Harvey beats the... Well, he looks rejuvenated here this week. Maybe maybe he might be pushing on to 21% here tonight. Oh, my goodness. Could you imagine? <laughs> I think he would pick up a lot more wins if he does. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, he is the lunatic fringe, Dean Ambrose. And here comes the lunatic fringe, and I'm sure he is watching very closely this Sunday night at the Elimination Chamber because he knows right at the Elimination Chamber, two weeks after that, he is going to be going to WrestleMania. He has the ticket, and he definitely looks ready. This lunatic always looks ready for any match at any time. Yeah, the lunatic fringe is guaranteed a shot at SmackDown's main event for the g title. The question is... Who will he face? It will come down Sunday night. Elimination Chamber. You do not want to miss it here on Global Gaming. We are ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. Big Match John gets this on underway. Let's have a prediction from Marky in this one. You know, I'm going to go for Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is the man that's going to be going to WrestleMania. He needs to pick up momentum starting now to go towards WrestleMania because he's going to be going against the man that is going to well, beat five of our men to be facing Dean Ambrose at Wrestlemania. And of course, many people have said that Harvey Beats just hasn't hit the height as anyone, even someone who's in a Wrestlemania main event, can do a Russian leg sweep. <laughs> yeah, really hasn't hit the heights. And really, I think it's ever since Mr. Regal left Harvey Beats. I mean, he just hasn't been in the right mindset. He hasn't been anywhere near where he needed to be. He hasn't, he has lost the guidance from Mr. Regal. And well, look at this, now getting beat up by Dean Ambrose. Of course, Ambrose definitely gonna have one eye on Sunday night as Harvey beats him. Really doesn't have anything to lose in these kind of contests anymore. He's really, many people say, still work, trying to get his job for season two. Yeah, he's definitely looking to try and keep his job because it really, if you don't start picking up wins, you're either going to be in the opening or you're going to have a job. Well, look at this. Oh, lovely arm drag by Dean Ambrose. And now just working on the lovely shot of Dean Ambrose there. Really needs to clean those jeans. He's a lunatic. I don't even think he owns a washer or a dryer. And look at this now, dragging the man's man to the center of the ring here. And, oh, what an elbow right into the heart of the man's man. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to get on social media. Tell everybody where we are. Global Gaming's YouTube, Global Gaming's Twitter, social media, everything you've got. Tell everybody where we are. As Harvey Beach sent in, and look how Ambrose comes in oh. and hits him with a big clothesline. Yeah, you got to make sure that all your friends are here watching the show with you and maybe even make parties up at your house and watching the shows here of course of course you get don't everybody want, in you don't want to miss anything that goes down on smackdown because we've got the tag team titles to be decided here tonight glorious domination gonna take on neville and Sami Zayn. and look at this now ambrose has harvey beats up on top big match john trying to get him down oh, no. there's only one way down oh. and that is right on the back of harvey beats's head and that could do it yeah, that's definitely something a lunatic would do here. Now, look at this finisher. I think Harvey's going to be tapping here in more than just 20%. Yeah, you've got to be thinking that has got to be enough to put away the man's man. Into the cover, hook of the leg. An easy victory for Dean Ambrose. No! No! A kick out. I'm, I'm telling you, I think Harvey's pushing it. I think he's pushing himself to 21% here tonight. Oh, my goodness. Look at this, though. All of a sudden... Big back suplex takes Dean Ambrose into the center of the ring. All of a sudden now Harvey Beats may have a second wind here. Yeah, Harvey Beats finding the second wind. Something he hasn't been able to do here in GWF. And well, really taking firm control over the man going to WrestleMania. 
Now, look at this now. Harvey Beat's going to work the arm of Dean Ambrose. Look at that, just wrenching back. And just wrenching over on the lunatic here is the man's man. And look at this again, looking to try and just turn it around here. Danvers trying to get out of this. There's one. That breaks the hold and it's winded. It looks like Harvey Beach. We know Beach's coming straight back. Center of the ring here. Oh, what an arm. Continuing to work over the arm. Yeah, just continuing here on Dean Ambrose. And really, I think this is one of the smartest nights we've ever seen here from Harvey Beach. He's really focusing on his arm here and really maybe even trying to set up for maybe an arm breaker down the line he's really bringing all the smarts to here tonight now what's he gonna do here sends ambrose in sends him in for the ride look out no went for the oh. knee but ambrose missed it and then a reversal by beats who still is too quick for dean ambrose here tonight now harvey beats i'm telling you he's working more than 20 percent here tonight he is going at least 21 he is giving it his all here tonight now what's going to happen here? Beats on the outside. Ambrose has really not looked like himself here tonight. Thrown back inside. Harvey Beats could just be seconds away from the biggest win of his career here. Yeah, the biggest win here in GWF. And many people would have to speculate. Is, would Dean Ambrose even be ready for whoever wins at Look the Women's Chamber? If We've seen this Harvey before. Beach here. Look at this. There's the suplex oh. into the pin. But Big Match John was slightly out of position. And that gave Ambrose enough to kick out. Yeah, I think Big Match John being out of position and just able to give Dean just enough time to quick really regain his consciousness and realize where he's at. And now taking back the firm control and getting sick of one of his own. Day Day Day! Oh. And now where's, now where's this lunatic going? Oh, not Wherever me hat. the lunatic wants to go. Oh, not me hat. Oh, come on, come on, don't touch the hat. Do not touch the hat. Oh, there you go. Well, as long as he doesn't touch my water. Now, back inside here. Ambrose. What's he going to do? He's got Harvey Beach. Is he going to send him to the outside oh, here? I think we all know what he has in store here. I think he's maybe trying to take him to that table. Oh, no. Look out. Wait, 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 wait. We, we may have a flying lunatic. Oh, no. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about flying to WrestleMania here right now. Oh, In the air. my goodness oh. me. What a shoulder tackle. And, well, I think that just put Harvey Beats down to 0%. And look at our monitor. monitor <laughs> nearly flew away there. Ambrose up, back in control now, looking to finish off Harvey Beats. What a headbutt. Oh, my goodness. Now is he going for here? Look at that, just grips right under the chin of the man's man. And really, Dean doing everything he can to take out the man's man, but the man's starting to recharge a little bit here. Oh, look out now. He's got double underhooks. And the center power bomb. My goodness, Harvey Bates is feeling wait, wait, wait. this, Marky. He is not done. He is not done to look at him. There's the knee! And a, this could be a big major upset here. One, two. It is! Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, do not adjust your sets. The winner of this contest, Harvey Beats. Well, I, I would like to adjust my monitor, but it's not here. But my, my eyes must be deceiving me. There's no way Harvey Beats just beat Dean Ambrose. Here. My goodness me, that is a shock. As Marky catches his breath, we'll go into the next contest. Travis Soule, the stylist, is going to take on Austin Woodward. It's not been a good few weeks for Woodward. Can he bounce back against Soule next on SmackDown? And no stop me, no. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring first, he is the stylist, Travis Soule. Yeah, here comes Travis Soule. He's styling, profiling, woman seeing riding, son of a gun, making his way down here. And of course, the best hairstylist here in GWF. And well, you want to be looking good. You want to look as even as good as Travis Soule. You better be seeing that stylist. Look at that chiseled physique of the stylist. 
Well, I don't think he can look as good as Travis Stoll here, but if you want to come in a very close second, you know, just go visit him. He'll try to do everything he can to your, your ugly face there. He'll do everything he can. The man is just oozing, oozing style. It is, of course, Travis Stoll. No. I, we are just very fortunate to be able to see Travis Soul here every week here on SmackDown. Well, what a night we've had so far. We've just started. And Travis Soul looking to continue the downward spiral of Austin Woodward here tonight. Yeah, many people will say that they're very shocked that Austin Woodward yet to pick up the main gold here in GWF. And well, like I said, he's on a downward spiral. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, he is Austin Woodward. Yeah, here comes the Prince, Austin Woodward. And well, like he likes to say, he likes to kick those pheasants. But, I mean, he hasn't been able to really able to do that this season. And really, if he can pick up a win over a man like Travis Stoll, maybe that could start building up some momentum going for WrestleMania here. Yeah, Austin Woodward was not able to qualify for the chamber match. He's even questioned himself in recent weeks, saying, what do I need to do? Do I need to take time away? Time is running out for Woodward in season one to make an impact. He has to really start by doing it against Travis Soul here tonight. Yeah, Austin, like you said, Austin Woodward, he said he wants to go away. He wants to go really retrain and really rethink himself here. But like you said, we're only, what, three weeks away? until our like OS SmackDown before WrestleMania, he has no time to go and th rethink his actions. It has been one of those nights. Can this be really another nail in Austin Woodwin's coffin? Here we go, Marky. Is Travis Sewell gonna pick up and win over Austin Woodwin here tonight? You know what? I'm always a fan of Travis Soul. I think we're going to see a stylish, con stylish nail going into that coffin of Austin Woodward here tonight. Travis Soul is just going to be styling a profile in his way with a big win over Austin Woodward. Right. You're going to be seeing many people, even as we're seeing Woodward himself, doubting his skills inside the ring after really a failed attempts at the title on so many occasions. Of course, the controversy that happened a few months ago when he was, he said he broke the pin up, but it was still given to the former champ. Of course, name we're not allowed to mention, but mm -hmm. you know now, he has to really rebuild himself up again. And there you go, really letting the crowd get to him here. And that's a lovely super Ooh. kick by Travis Soul. A very lovely super kick there. And, but now wait. But Austin Woodward still trying to find his way back into this match as Travis Stoll and really back-to-back -back action here. Drop kick by the stylist ran into the chest. And you can see Austin Woodward was struggling. Has he injured his arm? Yeah, maybe Austin Woodward doesn't need to really take a step back from the wrestling because he hasn't been doing well. Maybe he needs to take a step back. Maybe he needs to recover from injury. He's not talking about it as SmackDown continues. We'll be back. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow night, Big E versus Kaplan Lars. The four nights away from men, from meeting in the chamber, but in, in separate ones. Who's going to go in? Will Big E have momentum going into the GWF? Will Kaplan Lars, the Intercontinental Champion, have any momentum going in? You'll find out tomorrow night. Yeah, well, we are back here, and Austin Woodward seems to be in absolute firm control over... The the hairstyle is here, Travis Soul. And now Woodward back in control indeed. Well, he needs to force the more the momentum here. Main event already looking good tomorrow night. You don't want to miss the Intercontinental Champion in action against Big E. And now look at this. Woodward sending Soul into the turnbuckle. What does Woodward have in store next here for Travis Soul? Has him up on top here. This cannot be good. Look at this. Just softening the back. Big back Ooh. suplex. And this is what Woodward needs. He needs to put away Travis Soul right now. 
Yeah, he's, he's starting out to pass before Travis Hall gets that second win because once Travis Hall gets that second win, this is going to be the downward spiral for Austin Woodward here yet again. Look at this. No, Woodward looking to really punish Travis Hall. Maybe this is exactly what Austin Woodward needs here, but look again! Taunton, there's no need for it! Yeah, he's trying to look smug here, but he did not pick up the win here. He's still running way too fast, but wait, wait. I don't think it's good intentions going over there. Look at... Whoa! Oh, look at this! Come what on! What is this? Oh, come what? on! Whoa, big blind John yet again, not noticing the cheating Austin Woodward here. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, that's one way to get out of a rut. Your winner, Austin Woodward! I wouldn't even call that a win. Austin Woodward should be absolutely ashamed of himself for that. What? His legacy may be tarnished after that one, but it's a win, nevertheless. Coming up next, it is for the GWF Tag Team Championships. Glorious Domination have disrespected Daniel Bryan tonight. The titles are on the line against Neville and Sami Zayn. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, he comes from Canada, Sami Zayn. Yeah, and here comes Sami Zayn, and really, this is a really a great team of these super cruiserweights here, trying to prove themselves here, but. Can the likes of Sami Zayn and Neville work together and really beat Warriors Domination? You've got to think that it, it, the team has built in the recent weeks and now a big, big chance for Sami Zayn and Neville to pick up gold. And of course, really, do Daniel Bryan a big favor. Daniel Bryan has had nothing but problems in recent weeks. Glorious Domination didn't even come out last week with the tag team titles, for goodness sake. They better tonight because they could be losing them. Yeah, I mean, Warriors Domination is just really showing that these fans, they don't need to see the gold every week. They just want to come out here and do the wrestling. They don't, the fans don't need to see the belts. Well, Sami Zayn ready for action here tonight. The underdog from the underground ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, his tag team partner, he is the man that gravity forgot, Neville! Yeah, he is a man that gravity has forgotten, but well, Daniel Bryan definitely didn't forget him, helping him get into this title match, of course, alongside his partner, Sami Zayn, and Neville and Sami will be looking to try and one-up glorious domination here against the people that have really been disrespecting, as you said, to Daniel Bryan not bringing out the belts in their matches. Yeah, but what a big chance for many people calling them insane. Many people have got different names for this team. It doesn't matter what you call them. It's a huge opportunity for Sami Zayn and Neville here tonight. Yeah, maybe Gravity will remember them if they pick up the win here tonight over Gorgeous Domination and picking up the gold. Ladies and gentlemen, their opponents, they are the defending GWF Tag Team Champions! Being accompanied by Dan Masters, The Mundo, and Oliver Bisping, Glorious Domination! You see, Glorious Domination, they bring out the gold when it matters, when they have it on the line. These guys, they, they know the right time to bring out the gold and the right time to keep it away safe from these people here because everybody out here is trying to take the gold off them any one way or another and well Warriors of Nation will be looking to defend the tag gold here tonight yeah it has been a mixed few weeks for these three men but tonight when the title's on the line they seem to find another way to do it can they win this one though it is coming up the tag belts are on the line Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oliver Bisping and the Mundo handing the titles over. Are they handing the titles over for the last time? Big match, John. Raises the GWF Tag Team Championships. Here 
tonight. This match made by Daniel Bryan last week due to the disrespect of Oliver Bisping and Mundo. Here we go. Marky, who are you going to go for in this one? I'm sure I'm going to get to go for the team that makes the dream. It has to be Glorious Domination. These guys are the best tag team around here, and they are going to prove it here tonight against Sami Zayn and Neville here, and well, whatever they like to call themselves. He, he said insane before. Well, apparently there's been a lot of names flying around, but you've got to remember, watch this whole thing about Mundo last week saying he's the face that runs the place. It's ridiculous. Daniel Bryan, if he's not paying off Daniel Bryan each and every week, that's just going to pee him off even more. Yeah, you're just saying that he's the face that runs the place, and well, many people would like to say that would be Daniel Bryan would be the face that runs the place, but well, SmackDown will continue right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, GW Smackdown comes your way every Tuesday night. Join us on Global Gaming underscore YT, 11 o'clock in the UK, 6 in the East, 3 in the West. If you're watching this on the network, get into the channel. We would love to see you there, live, every Tuesday. It's Smackdown. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Tag team titles on the line. Mundo and Sami Zayn in the ring. As now Mundo showing the power here. Yeah, really showing off the power and well, like you said, these people like to call themselves whatever they say they they're the the face that runs the place, the chant that runs the camp, the team that makes the dream. We're going for the cover. Oh only a two count there. And these guys are really gonna prove it here tonight that they are the better champions here. They are the better tag team. Look at this and GWF oh, my and, oh. Goodness. and just with absolute power here is now he's finally gonna get all over Bisbing in here. Yeah, look at this, Bishman back inside now. Look at this now, into the tie, has a hold of Sami Zayn. What are you going to do here? Sends him in. And oh, nice sidewalk Ooh. slam from the Bisping. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but Zayn, he's trying to go and get a tag over to Neville because he realizes he needs a tag, but Bisping's not going to be allowing that to happen. Two, oh, no. Yes. no. And Only a two though. count here. Mundo takes Neville. Oh my goodness, Neville goes through the middle rope. Remember the controversy last week? This is why he got us all. Oh, blue Thunderbomb. We've got no oh, champs. Oh, 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 no. What? Two. No, a oh. kick out of two. We nearly had new champions. Yeah, really. Just what, what the Mundo was doing on the outside. We almost cost him the tag team gold there, but Dan trying to keep this team alive here. Yeah, and look at this. Bisping taking full advantage here. All of a sudden, it looked like it was going for Sami Zayn. Oh, on the outside, Mundo suplexing Neville. And all of a sudden, this is all turning wrong. Look out, Starship Pen! No! Oh, and it's this has it. to be it, going for the cover. Two, three! And glorious domination! Retain the tag belts! And really making quick work of these insane people. Proving that they are glorious domination. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of this contest, the team of the Mundo and Oliver Bisping, glorious domination. And really, it was a glorious win here tonight with absolute domination. The tag belt still with glorious domination. Daniel Bryan is not going to be happy with this. You're sure of that? Definitely gotta be sure of that, but it's gonna have to stay that way. They are the champions. Well, you have to say, glorious domination continue their reign as tag team champs. Coming up next, what about this? These two men will be in the same chamber on Sunday night. Tonight, they go one on one. On SmackDown. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, it is Trey Savage. You now, going in to that chamber match, many people would say that Carol Will would be one of the scariest people in there, but really, Trey Savage, he is another man that is a man to be reckoned with, and a man inside what was still okay, cage, like the Elimination Chamber, I wouldn't want to be in there. Not at all. This man is looking for gold, and well, 
Could you imagine him him being number one? The, the, what devastation he could do? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if one of those pods that they say is indestructible, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if Trey Savage breaks one of those pods open on Sunday night. You've got to be saying, ladies and gentlemen, this is right down Trey Savage's alley. He has been in an angry mood for a long time. Seth Rollins could be in a lot of trouble. He could be in a lot of trouble here tonight. He's got to go against Trey Savage. And really, you say that, but a lot of people will definitely have their minds with Seth Rollins here. He's one of the fan favorites. But Trace, going to the ring with Trey Savage, that's just not the right thing to do. Trey Savage ready for action, as always, here on SmackDown. It is myself, Dave Easton, with Marky Marks and the intern. Marky filling in for Tim Price this week. As ladies and gentlemen, he making his way to the ring. He is the architect, Seth Rollins. And here comes Seth Rollins. Like you said, many people call him the architect, and he'll be looking to really build himself a plan here on Sunday night to become the champion, really prove himself here. And well, let's see if Seth Rollins really can become the GWF champion with people like Trey Savage and Carol Whale in that elimination chamber. Yeah, so much going down, of course, at the elimination chamber. Seth Rollins turns ar turned around and said, look, I'm going to make a ch the GWF championship on it. I'm going to be the champion, and I'm going to be the first champion who actually will make this title mean something. That's, you can count on that on Sunday night. Yeah, and of course, the only other two GWF champions, of course, Crazy J, who made his way over to Raw, Vacant, who's no longer here, of course, and now Kill Will has only just won the title, but I don't think Kill Will is going to be looking trying to get rid of that title so fast. I'm pretty sure he's going to be wanting to take down people like Seth Rollins here, I believe, who's only the, the only cruiserweight in that matchup. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we're off and underway. And now, what would it mean... Marky, for someone like Seth Rollins to win this match and to really lay a marker down, saying, look, I'm going up against big guys in that match. I can beat Trey Savage. I can beat anyone. And I can actually leave that match as the champ. I'll be shocked if he could beat a man like Trey Savage here. Yes, he has the momentum right now. But once Trey Savage gets those heavy hits here onto Seth Rollins, he's going to be absolutely real and he will not be able to get back into this matchup here the the big the big guys of course like I said with Big E being in there we got Kill Will we got Trey Savage he's, uh, all these big people in here going against Seth Rollins I don't know if he really has the chance in there the power is just going to be overwhelming against Seth Rollins and of course you've got Kevin Owens in there as well who could be number 6 if he beats Killer Will in this main event tonight and well and well, like I said before, he is the only one in there that can also go for the Cruiserweight Championship. He is the smallest guy in there, but like I said, when there, when all that comes to power, that slows him down. Seth Rollins does have speed, but I think that power is just going to overtake him on Sunday night. It all depends on the look of the draw, many people will say, inside the chamber. But when you have someone like Trey Savage in there, you know that you're just in a lot of trouble. Just like Seth Rollins is right now. Oh my goodness me, look at this deadlift! Oh my God! Oh. He picked him up like he was nothing! Yeah, because he's a cruiserweight. He is nothing. He's just picking up like he's nothing. He's just a little bit of weight while the rest of those guys are just heavyweights in there. Look at this just lovely knee DDT though. Don't count Seth Rollins out. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, look at this! Oh, DDT! Wait, wait, oh. Cover! And a kick no. at it too. Close, very close. Another DDT oh. and look at the head. Another Bounce. one. And now he's going up top. What is Seth thinking of here? What is he thinking? Phoenix Splash no! Moved out of the way by Trey Savage. Yeah, many people wouldn't think Trey Savage is being fast on his feet there, but look at him there. He was able to avoid that Phoenix Splash like it was nothing. Super but, oh, kick! Right into the face! And that could be a big match, John, out of the position! 
And a kick oh, out at two. Yeah, and Trace I was able to kick out there. And what Wakey said, maybe because Big Man Sean was out of position there. And really, Seth Rollins couldn't believe he's going for number of DDT. That's the third of them. And you can see what is Trace Savage's bell has been clocked here. I don't know if there's much brain in there, but my goodness me. He, he has been smacked from pillar to post. And now <laughs> looks to take a bit of a time out. But that may have helped him here. Mm -hmm. Trying to set the pace of the match up and look at this here. Oh, what a backbreaker! Yeah, double on the hook backbreaker there by Trey Savage, and now really just admiring his work right now. Yeah, look at this. This is just this is just unbelievable. Trey just was watching and s oh no, <laughs> he's just waiting for this. Then handed choke slam, and look at this. He's not even done, Marky. Most people would say a choke slam, you're done, but he is just continuing on here. A double handed choke slam now. And off the ropes. Oh, come on, Trey. We well, can't do it on TV. You're not allowed to do that. But look at this. He's telling Seth Rollins, you know what? You may be the smallest man. You're going to get punished. And my goodness me, is he doing just that? Big spine buster. Yeah, and this is what the heavyweights love to do. They love to torment these little guys here, the cruiserweights. Look out! Oh, what a oh, splash. splash! That is surely that. No, he kicked what? out! Unbelievable! What? How did that cruiserweight just kick out that big splash from the heavyweight there? Look out! Whoa, whoa, Look whoa, out! No, 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 no. Pedigree! No way! No Wait, way! You don't think he can pick up the win? Oh my goodness, after everything he took, Savage is out cold! I'm telling you! Oh. Two! Three! What? Seth Rollins has defeated Trey Savage here tonight! He just beat one of the biggest threats in the Elimination Chamber. He just beat Trey Savage and Seth Rollins really making a statement in the Architect proving himself here tonight before Sunday night. Unbelievable! Seth Rollins with a win! Ah, we're backstage with Tom Smiley Phillips and he is with Kevin Owens to talk to him about the match tonight and also about the Chamber this Sunday but he has some news about tomorrow and main event. Oh, what could this be? What could these news be as well? There will be a tag match between the New Gate and the Jersey Boys, and the winners will face. Glo Whoa, hold on! Glorious domination what, in the what, chamber what? on Sunday. That's not fair. Mundo's already got a match. Twice this week? Mundo. It's got a, but wait, that's not fair. It's not fair at all. We'll talk about it in a minute, but he's saying here that he's talking to Kevin Owens, and while well, he's saying you've got to face Killer Whale, and a spot at number six, he says, well. Basically, Tom, shut up. I'm just five days away from winning the GWF title. Tonight, when I defeat that lump in the ring, I will be number six in the chamber. I will be fresh. And I will pick them off one by one until I get my hand raised in the middle of the ring with the title in hand. And you can tell me, call me champ. And after tonight, what is Ambrose? Oh, fighting words. Yeah, some fighting words already making fun of Ambrose for his loss. You've got to be saying that is still to come. Coming up next. What about this? William Regal is in a fighting mood. He'll get one against Bobby Hall next. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first from Blackpool, England, he is William Regal. Yeah, and here comes William Regal, and well, I mean, he has to have been an utter shock watching from the back, seeing Harvey beat, well, his former tag team partner beat up Dean Ambrose here early on tonight. Now he has to try and one-up him here with a big win against Bobby Hall. Listen to this, Marky. You talk about beat up Ambrose. Harvey Beach has gone on Twitter and said this. Tonight was oh. easy. All I did was hashtag beat up Dean Ambrose. 
Oh, just beat up Dean Ambrose. He thinks it's just that easy. I mean, I, I'm telling you, he worked more than 20%. Dean Ambrose is in absolute shock that he worked more than 20% here tonight. He showed a lot of hearts. That, that is match. not it. That is not all, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what? Listen to this. More? Uh, Daniel Bryan has booked a rematch for the Chamber. Harvey Beats versus Dean Ambrose this Sunday. We'll talk about that in just a second because, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, Bobby. Hall! Yeah, here comes Bobby Hall. And let me tell you, this man knows a lot about hardcore. He knows how to make you in a lot of pain. And well, you can tell when he comes down to that bat, he wants to use it. But sadly, in these type of matches, he can't use it or else he'll get disqualified. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. What a night. <laughs> we are in Sunday night. A rematch booked between Harvey Beats and Dean Ambrose. But now, well, the famous bat. The famous point at his opponent, Bobby Hall, ready for action here tonight. Makes you get goosebumps every time that he points that bat because he knows when he points that bat, that is the man that is going to be going down tonight. What a night it has been. As I say, it gets better and better each week. I'm so... I, I feel a bit upset that we're coming to the end of the season. Because this is what it's all about. And these two men are just going to have fight till the end. Big Match John's going to have his hands full here. Who are you going to go for in this one, uh, Marky? You know, I'm going to have to go for William Rigo here. He's going to have to try and one-up. Harvey beats here, of course, his former tag team partner. He was, he had to show him that beating Bobby Hall is just as easy as beating up in an Ambrose. And, well, I don't know if Harvey beats can really recreate that again at the Elimination Chamber. And, well, I mean, if he does that, what kind of man is Dean Ambrose going to be going towards WrestleMania? That's so true. Smackdown, Smackdown continues. continues. We'll be back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are just... Five nights away from the Elimination Chamber. You don't want to miss it. Global Gaming, our last SmackDown only pay-per-view for Season 1 is the Elimination Chamber. Two Chamber matches in the Connell title, GWF title. Why would you want to miss it? We're back just in time to see a two count by William Regal. Well, we almost came back just in time for a three, but only a two. As William trying to continue here on Bobby Hall. And really, I mean, what, what, what would Daniel have to do if Dean just keeps losing until WrestleMania? I mean, what kind of challenge is that going to be for our GWF champion if he was going against the loser that keeps losing like Dean Ambrose? Oh, come on. It's one loss, Mark. You can't say that. And you've got to be saying, Dean Ambrose could lose every match till WrestleMania. He's still in the WrestleMania main event because he won the ladder match. Yeah, he's still in it. But if he keeps losing, what kind of momentum is he going to have? He won't have any momentum. He'll he'll be going in there and just he'll be just losing like he would always do if he well, like I said, if he keeps losing like he did here tonight. Well, look at this now. William Regal working over Bobby Hall. Look at that, just trying to get... Look where his hand is there, Marky. That is William Regal, technical brilliance. Just working over Bobby Hall. And Hall now desperately needs to get out of this. And there's that punch. And, well, Regal, you could see, was winded by that one. Yeah, very well winded by that one. Really, that was like the only way you can get out of it. It's going for a normal way to a cover. No. No. Oh, dead, dead, dead oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And lifting up a man like William Regal is not easy. Cover! Hook of the leg! Is that enough? Three it is! Wow! Wow! A big win from Bobby Hall and really, like I said, when he points that bat at you, you know you're going to be going down. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, Bobby Hall! And a big win from Bobby Hall here and really just showing off his brilliance here. What a win for Bobby Hall here tonight on SmackDown. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. It's main event time. Who's going to be number six in the chamber? It could be Kevin Owens or your GWF champion, Killer Will. It's next on SmackDown. And coming up next, I, this is the match I just couldn't wait for. 
What a night we've had on SmackDown. And ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, he is the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. You know, it really makes me wonder, why is Kevin Owens getting this special treatment here? He is the one that is going to be going for, well, the number six one. I mean, really, it should be any man that could be going for that number six one, but it's Kevin Owens and, of course, our champion who deserves that rightful spot. Do you, do you think that something, something has been not right with Daniel Bryan? He's been easily unhinged this season. Is it that he can't get into the ring? Is it starting to get to him? What is going on? And now we find out that he's booked Mundo in two matches on Sunday night. I mean, he, I mean, defending his title twice this week and having the Gito title match event. I, I don't even know what is with him. Why does he hate the Mundo so much? But yet he wants Kevin Owens. Is it a thing that he's... Is, is Mundo going to have to defend the tag belt then go straight into the chamber match? It could happen. I wouldn't doubt it, and really, he is just trying to set up the Mundo for failure. Well, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, he is the new GWF Champion Killer Whale! And here comes Carol Whale, and this man, he needs to show everybody here in GWF SmackDown that he is a champion that needs to be respected. He needs to get a big win here tonight, getting all the momentum and getting that, that number six slot into the Women's Chamber and show that he really proves to have it. A shock last week, of course, ladies and gentlemen. If you didn't see it last week, Killer Whale climbed the ladder. We thought no kid won it at one stage. No, Killer Will climbed the ladder. Omegle went out the ring. He didn't even challenge him. He walked, he got out the ring. Let Killer Will take the prize. And we have a new champion. Yeah, many people were wondering what was going on there. Did they have some sort of friendship that we didn't even know about? So, and if they did, where was the friendship of one sec? Why was that not going out together? But really, it doesn't matter now. Kira Will's the champion. And what a dominant champion Killer Will could be. Especially if he's going in at number six at the chamber. There's that smile, that laugh. Oh my goodness me. This could be a very interesting match. Kevin Owens. Well, he's not faced many more dangerous than Killer Will before. Here we go. Main event time, ladies and gentlemen. And really, how many times have you seen someone like Kevin Owens been... Outsized? Outside, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, now look at this. And look at the user's weight already. Sit on the chest of Kevin Owens. Owens might not even last. He might not even be in the chamber this Sunday. Yeah, he might even be in the chamber if this continues like this. Carol Will is just looking to really decimate... Kevin Owens here tonight and really trying to take out another man from the chamber and maybe try to make it four of her men instead of five. Look at this now. Sends Owens in. And oh my goodness oh. me, that'd be nine feet in the air. Yeah, and really, if the match continues like this, where is Kevin Owens going to be? Because I doubt he will be at the match if Kill Will continues to have his way because we saw his smile before. Usually, smiles continued with nice things, but when Kill Will smiles, that could be the end of you. Yeah, but look at this. Kevin Owens didn't follow that up there, and you really think he needs to, as now sends Killer Will in here. And look at this. Sends him oh. with a, a big knee and a second. And anyone, even a prize fighter, could do a Russian leg sweep. And Kevin Owens is going to prove that he is a prize fighter here. He's going to try to prove that he can beat the man with the prize because he is the fighter that wants the prize. Look at this. Into the cover. No, just a one. So far, not enough to put away the GWF champion. Look at this, though. Big shot by Kevin Owens. And now Kevin Owens going down, and this is what he may have to do and resort to them dirty tactics. And he's using those dirty tactics and just really doing anything he can. Because I'm sure he, we're going to be seeing it here. We're definitely going to be seeing that at the chamber. And I'm definitely 
like I said, I wouldn't be shocked if one of these guys trying to take out one of those pods. Now, look at this. Again on the outside, choking Killer Wheel, choking the champion. And now Kevin Owens, this is where he can be destructive on the outside. Yeah, this is where he's, he is his most lethal here on the outside. And really just look at him go, but no, Kill Will fighting back on him here. And really trying to prove the outside is my territory as well. Back inside to break up the count. And that's how confident Killer Will is. Now he's just walked over and just let Owens back inside. But Owens catches him with a kick. Not enough though. Snap my takeover. Ooh. And... Oh my goodness, lovely back elbow by Owens, catching Killer Will on the bridge of the nose. Yeah, now what does he have in store for him? That's again Kevin taking him to the outside. And like you said, Kevin really makes the outside his home here. He is trying to do everything he can to keep him on the outside and really win the match with what he does on the outside here. What does he have in store next to the barricade here? Well, it may be a good thing here. Oh, look at this, the shots by Owens. And Killer Whale feeling the effects here. And now just trying to really use the cushion. Oh, oh. no, nice. Get out there by Killer Whale who sends Owens into the barrier. Yeah, again, Kevin Owens tr tries to make this place his home, but Killer Whale again trying to show him that he knows how to get it done on the outside as well, but trying to get in before that 10 count, of course. Oh, no. Oh, oh. no. This could be the beginning of the end. Dragging him to the end. Killer Wheel with all that force. 500 oh pounds. I, to be honest, if that was me, I, I think you'd be taking me to the hospital right then and there. Oh my goodness, that is it. Owens has got to be out. Has to be. No, but look, he's still getting up. What? How does he have any, any wind with him here? And oh, now just tossing up like he's nothing. Would you ever think you would have seen Kevin Owens just thrown up? Uh oh, oh, big splash! Oh, How much wind has he got left? That has surely got to be it. Into the cover, hook of the leg, and Owens kicks out at two. What? How did he kick out there? And really, Kevin Owens showing that he has the will to try and pick up the championship here. He again showing that he is an absolute prize fighter here, but. Kill Will looking dominant and trying to prove that he is the champion here. Look at this, just put him up on the middle rope. Tree of Oak. Owens did well to get out of that before any more damage, but another big shot sends him in. Oh, not again. No, come no, on. No. Come on, you gotta tell me to reinforce this ring, right? Because he's gonna do this again. This could be the end. Big shot oh. down. Oh my god. This all. Oh. The weight of Kill Will right onto the chest of Kevin Owens, but he's getting up. Owens still fighting. How is Owens doing this? I am in utter shock that he is still fighting. No way. No way. Why well, well, you don't think? Oh, what? Canadian cocktees. I what? I can't believe what I've just seen, and I can't believe I've seen Killer Will kick out. And Kill Will trying to prove, even with the showing off of the strength of Kevin Owens there, that he is still the champion. He is still the man around here. Unbelievable. What a night we've had on SmackDown here tonight. Owens is in shock. What is he going to... What's oh. he doing here? You don't think we can see a flying Owens? Wait, <laughs> oh, you know. A flying what? Owens? My goodness. Have you ever seen a man his size flying the air like that oh my I god i cannot believe what i have just seen from kevin owens unreal it is absolutely unreal with that athleticism from a man of the size of kevin owens there from a heavyweight and remember kevin owens has been killer wheel has dropped two big big bonds that drops really onto kevin owens yeah, big bond that drops dropping all of his way. Many people, well, many people like me, you'd be taking me immediately to the emergency room after just one. He lived through two of them. This has been a classic match. What a main event to build up to the chamber on Sunday night. Look, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, no. I, I, he caught this him. Is the end. He caught him. I'm not joking you. 
Splash down! I think Kevin Owens is an absolute shock that he caught him there. In his head, around the world, Killer Wheel is number six in the chamber. And again, proving why he is the champion against Kevin Owens. And whoa, 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 look at this. Oh, look at this. Now, seeing that he's number six in the chamber, you will see that I am the man of this brand. Sunday is going to be fun for me, but not for the other five. Oh, I can't wait. What a night, Marky. Thanks so much for filling in. Say goodbye to the fans. Goodbye, fans. Tim missed a great show. That is unbelievable. What a night. Catch up on the network if you missed any of it. Join us for main event tomorrow night. We'll see you then. Dave Easton, Marky Marks, everyone backstage at SmackDown. We'll see you for main event.